Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. Grab yourself a hot beverage, sit back and join me for my review of the Legio Custodes Telemon Heavy Dreadnought. I said in my weekend video that I'd get this uh, review out to you on the Wednesday, so here it is. This is my review of the Legio Custodes Telemon Heavy Dreadnought. One of these will set you back £72, which is the same price as the Leviathan Dreadnought, and I'll do a size comparison in a little moment uh, with uh, that Dreadnought. But first of all, let's uh, talk about the model itself and how easy it was to build. Uh, it comes with this CAD designed uh, instruction guide. Very, very easy and simple to build. I think in the unboxing, so I must clarify it now, in the unboxing I think I said it didn't come with the instructions to build the weapons, it does. So that was a bit of a faux pas for me. It, it had been a long day, um, that's the only excuse I can sort of give. But it does come with that, which is great. So looking at this, um, I built the, the legs and the hips all in one, really. Uh, I put glue on all of those places and then just held it all together. This is the pose I went for, just a sort of striding forward, firing something quite low to the ground, missiles in the in the same direction. I released a video, I think a couple of days ago, uh, my build guide. I sort of got carried away and ended up completing quite a few steps in the in the same time. But there we go. Um, hopefully you'll find that useful. I talk about um, the pose, uh, some tips in terms of preparation and what to look out for specifically in this model when you're, when you're building it. So you might find it useful if, uh, if you're going to pick one of, one of these up. Um, then I uh, constructed the sarcophagus um, sort of in the same direction as the, the gun is pointing. And then you put the head and the upper sarcophagus and the engine and things on there. What I actually did is put the engine on before I put the sarcoph sarcophagus on the uh, hips because it just, for me, it just gave me more of a reference point to where to position the, the whole thing. Um, then I, I left out the pauldrons. Um, one of the reasons was because uh, there's, hole there's a hole in each of those and I'm so pleased I found some green stuff and sort of plugged those holes up because they are just semi-noticeable and they will be noticeable uh, once you've, you've uh, painted the model. I think it's normal. I think it's normal for, for those pieces because each one had a, had a small hole. I don't think it's... Uh, an error or anything like that. I just think it's that's part of the model. So I constructed the arms um, I started off with a gun arm first. I didn't want a gun sort of slacking or placid or anything like that um, and I wanted the the fist to be sort of in a sort of open position. So I constructed the shoulder first uh, and then just sort of worked my way down uh, and the same with that side. Shoulder first um, and then you've got a bit of sort of play in those joints to get them right um, and then finally um, glued the sort of armor pieces on the sides and um, then I put the shoulders on the shoulder pauldrons on then I put the uh, the missile launcher because the missile launcher doesn't have a full sort of full range of firing art because it'll get in the way of these um, shoulder plates so that's why I did it in sort of that order okay so um, talking about the price 72 pounds so it's the same price as a Leviathan Dreadnought I'm not sure you get the same amount of resin as a Leviathan Dreadnought um, especially with sort of like the feet and you know the front sarcophagus and things like that and um, because these are quite quite thin um, but you definitely get the size and you get a lot of detail and that missile pod is very nicely detailed um, it's going to be a joy to paint those missiles. So yeah, this is pretty much ready now, uh, just to spray gold and wash and then pick out all the details. Um, but before I do that, I'll just do a few size comparisons. So I have my uh, my Mini Marine now, I'm referring them to as, <laughs> not my Primaris. Primaris would probably be about somewhere like uh, about this high maybe. <laughs> um, right, so. There he is. Um, he goes up to about he could probably head but the knee. Um, so it's even worse than sort of him holding him with the Sestus claw at sort of arm's reach. He won't be able to do that. Space Marine probably bash um, head but the knee. He could oh, he could just he could pretty much just drop kick him um, away 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 away. But there we go. That's that's a little uh, um, size comparison with a little little um, super soldier. 
uh, and then this is a rhino it could um, definitely uh, give the rhino a bad day towers over a rhino um, oh a custodian himself obviously custodian is a fair, fair bit bigger than a space marine and um, next to a custodian guard there you go custodian guard goes to not even his hip um, just just below his uh, hip joint there so towers over that uh, normal dreadnought let's see yeah maybe the normal dreadnought he could put his hand on and stop him from sort of walking up to him uh, so normal dreadnought goes up to yeah hips if you can see that so normal dreadnought hips um, oh a custodian dreadnought custodian contemptor yeah definitely bigger than that he's heads and shoulders above uh, his head probably goes up to his chest um, so yeah definitely bigger than that and then <clears throat> something that's not been featured on the channel yet uh, I will release the video at some point I think I made it last year or something but uh, either way uh, my Leviathan Dreadnought um, how big is he compared to a Leviathan Dreadnought well he is bigger than a Leviathan Dreadnought um, a whole sort of head bigger um, if you can see that bulk, bulk wise I mean the shoulder pauldrons do make him quite bulky but the carapace of the Leviathan makes him sort of bulky too um, but yeah it would uh, be a close battle I mean obviously the Leviathan is a you know close combat sort of specialist but um, you know I'd really like to see these two go head to head especially if the uh, custodies uh Dreadnought had two Sastus um, claws because I'm really wondering what, what that weapon is there, whether it's a Melter or a Drathic or some, something going on there. And I want to know what, what this uh, missile launcher can do. It's, uh, it's a spiculous bolt launcher. So I don't know whether it's going to be, because it's bolt, I think bolt gun, um, I don't think it's going to be sort of a high strength weapon. Um, whereas this thing I, I do. Um, but there, there just aren't any rules for him at the moment, so we'll have to see. Base-wise, um, the base is is bigger too on the um, Custodius Dreadnought. Uh, I was very surprised at the size of the base that I got with him, but um, yeah, it's all relative. Uh, he would look overcrowded on the Leviathan base, so you are now looking at the largest Dreadnought um, in existence, the Custodes Heavy Dreadnought, um, and it's the same price as the Leviathan. So I hope that's all been very useful for you, um, size-wise comparison. Um, if you're on the fence, uh, like I said, they're the same price. So, um, and if you've got a custodian guard army, it really is the next uh, step in sort of Dreadnought evolution. Um, what I'll do is I'll just give you a little size comparison in terms of Dreadnoughts. There you go, there you go. It sort of some, looks something like that. Um, and then obviously after this, you'd have your, um, you know, your knight, your Sastus knight, your Porphyrion, your Warhound Titan, Reaver, Warlord, and so on and so on. Um, so there you go, I hope that's uh, helped. So yeah, and this part of the video would normally be the part where I, you know, go through the rules and uh, give you tactics and things, but as there aren't any available, I think they're gonna come out in a PDF when this model becomes available to pre-order uh, on Forge World's website. I do fancy doing a, an extra video on the tactics and things um, when that is released uh, for pre-order. So um, stay tuned for another video at some point. That's all I wanted to say about this model. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.